Hey y'all. So today I wanted to talk to you about antioxidants. Um, obviously they are great in your diet for your body and your health. I do love me some good berries and fruits with tons of antioxidants. But did you also know that antioxidants are really important to incorporate into your skincare regimen and just everything that you put on your skin and your body in general, whether that is skincare, body washes, makeup, they are great ingredients to have and very helpful for your skin. So just a few things that antioxidants can do for you. So I wanted to point a few, few kind of highlights out. First thing is that they can help correct signs of age. They can help prevent sun damage. They can also help you to brighten your skin tone and they can also help the skin repair itself. So aging, sun damage, repair, and brightening. Tons of great things that you hopefully um, don't need, but still want for your skin. So I wanted to kind of point out some key ingredients that you want to look for in your skincare or makeup products that obviously are antioxidants and can help you with these things. So the very first and honestly the most commonly studied known antioxidant ingredient for your skin in general is vitamin C. I'm sure at some point in time, y'all have heard that. Um, so the main reason is that vitamin C, again, is the most studied, but it also has a lot of skincare benefits. So it acts as a collagen booster, and it also helps to fade dark spots, but it also is really helpful at preventing sun damage. So you wanna apply it in the morning, like right before SPF, always use SPF though, always use SPF. Um, but you can use it to help prevent sun damage, and it can also, kind of stop hyperpigmentation as well. So your tone of your skin, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, sun damage, and collagen, it really does a lot. So that's why vitamin C is kind of the most common antioxidant for your skincare, but there are more. So the next one I wanted to talk about is niacinamide. So it's actually also known as vitamin B3, but this ingredient, which is a little less common, but I'm sure if you're into skincare, you've seen it out there, helps with your skin's texture and tone. So it really helps with um, fine lines, wrinkles, and hyperpigmentation to help kind of reduce all of those. And it also acts as an anti-inflammatory. So it's able to kind of calm any kind of inflammation, redness, anything on your skin in general. So as an inflammatory, you know, like I said, it helps to kind of calm your skin, reduce redness, soothe breakouts, any kinds of things that kind of cause inflammation and irritation in your skin. The niacinamide can also help with that. But it's also good for, because of the properties it has, um, treating rosacea and acne too. So it's really good for sensitive skin. It doesn't, for the most part, have really any adverse reactions with um, other, with sensitive skin or other products. So niacinamide is a really, really great product in general as an antioxidant to help your skin, but also for sensitive skin because things like vitamin C, the ingredient we already talked about, is a little bit stronger. So some people with sensitive skin can't necessarily utilize vitamin C in their skincare regimen, at least not right away. Whereas niacinamide is a great antioxidant to kind of incorporate early on to help build your way up. So the next ingredient that I wanted to talk to you guys about is Reservatrol, which is one I actually really love, mostly because it actually comes in red wines as well. So you can drink Reservatrol. Learned that a little while ago and I thought it was super neat. So I started looking into it. Not that that's relevant right now, but Reservatrol is really, really um, helpful in basically anti-aging in general. So like I mentioned, it comes in wine and that's because Reservatrol is actually found in the skins of fruits like grapes, for your wine or berries. And it basically is intended to serve as like a reparative armor for the fruit, right? And so similarly, that's what it does for your skin. So it is kind of more reparative in its nature as a antioxidant for your skincare. So the Reservatrol is actually an anti-inflammatory. It's also a antibacterial and antifungal. And so it helps to calm and soothe the skin, kind of like niacinamide, but Reservatrol also reduces skin aging at the same time because again, that reparative nature, and it also kind of helps to prevent infection as well because of that antifungal, antibacterial aspect of it. So if you have any kind of like breakouts or anything like that, cuts, wounds, kind of helps there a little bit too. 
very robust type of ingredient for your skincare in general. But with this one, just keep in mind, it is best to be used at nighttime only, unlike vitamin C and niacinamide. Um, it's a little bit sensitive to UV, so you don't really necessarily want to be in the sun. Um, obviously, you can still use it in the day and use SPF, but you really have to make sure that you're replenishing your SPF to protect that. So it's wiser to just use it in the evenings and let it do it, let it do its work overnight. So the next ingredient I wanted to talk about is vitamin E, which is actually a really vital ingredient for your body in general, but also the skin. So what vitamin E can do for you is it can help your skin's healing process. So if you have dry, cracked skin, maybe broken um, areas from acne, whatever it may be, it's a great, great ingredient to utilize to help kind of repair and heal the skin. But it's also very, very helpful in boosting and kind of stabilizing other antioxidants. So it's a really great in combination with things like vitamin C or niacinamide or even resveratrol. So primarily you're gonna see vitamin E and C together because they really it really does boost the vitamin C properties. But again, it's really, really great as like a booster for other antioxidant ingredients for your skincare. And the last, there are a lot of antioxidant ingredients by the way, but I really only wanted to hit the top five. So the last one I wanted to talk about is retinol. And I'm sure that you have heard about retinol before. Maybe you do, maybe you don't know what it is. Maybe you just know it's great for your skin in general but retinol is an antioxidant and yes it is great for your skin and here's why so retinol has been proven time and time again to help kind of reverse signs of aging so it is a derivative of vitamin a and it basically does really well when it comes to your skincare because we're gonna get into a little bit of science here, but the molecular structure of it is really small. So it's able to penetrate into more cells in your skin than any other antioxidant or most ingredients in general. So that's why retinol is really effective, it has the ability to really get into most of your cells and basically stimulate that collagen production. So it does that better than most other ingredients are that you're gonna find whether they are collagen boosters or not. Because again, it has the ability to really get down deep and penetrate into the cell to, to boost that collagen production. While it's in there, it actually can help to accelerate and speed up your cell renewal and repair your cells. So basically, it's really good at like smoothing out fine lines and wrinkles that already exist and improving your skin's tone and color. So any kind of discoloration, it helps with that as well. So retinol is also an amazing antioxidant. Um, okay, but that's all I have for you guys. I don't wanna dive in. Like I said, there are tons of antioxidant ingredients that are out there, but these are the top five I really just wanted to touch on for you guys. Um, if you already use any of these, let me know which ones and how you like them. Um, if there are other antioxidants that I didn't touch on that you swear by, let me know. Maybe I'll do a separate video just highlighting those. These are kind of my favorites, which is why I focused on these guys, but I am more than happy to do another video talking about different antioxidant ingredients for your skincare. Last thing that I wanted to leave you with though is a reminder that antioxidants can do a world of good for your skin. They are basically the most amazing thing out there for both your skin and your body. So make sure that you're not only eating it and consuming it, but that you're also incorporating those ingredients and those products into your skincare routine so that you can really nourish your body on both ends to make sure it's doing the best that it can. Um, and that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you start using antioxidants if you're not already. And if you are, way to go. I am so stoked for you because honestly, antioxidants were the best thing that I could have ever incorporated into my skincare. So I hope you feel the same way. Um, but otherwise, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.